Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas. If you don't have a Kaplan Q Bank as a paid supplement, that's free supplements, my YouTube channel. But uh, Kaplan Q Bank can be yours for as little as $55.80 with my 15% discount code at checkout, Guru15. Uh, for that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look at Kaplan content. We will help you with any question. It's just easier if it's Kaplan because you can give me the QID and I can bring it up backstage. An investor who is bearish on the outlook of Fern uh, Travel Service, FTS, sells 100 shares short at 52. So in margin questions, the first thing you want to do is what this called the initial setup, right? So here I got $5,200 from selling the borrowed stock. I'm going to do this before I even take a look at what they want to know. And then Reg T says I have to put up half. And so this is where most people get hung up. I have a credit register here, cash, of $7,800. And what I owe in a short account are securities. In a long account, what I owe is uh, uh, money. But here I owe securities that are presently valued at $5,200. That's the short market value. So in this scenario here, on day one, I am perfectly balanced. How often are people perfectly balanced? Typically on day one. And so that's my equity. And that is the classical margin equation short. The classical margin equation short. Uh, I would definitely recommend that you know the classical margin equation long and the classical margin equation short. And so there's my initial setup. All right, let's see what they want to know about this account. Uh, three months later, the market price of FTS is 58. Oh, that's not bueno. This is going the wrong way, right? I want to sell high and buy low, and it uh, looks like we may have a problem. Under FINRA rules, a maintenance call. So they're not asking me what is minimum maintenance. If that was the question, it's not. You know, RTFQ. Make sure you're answering the question being asked. If they would have asked me maintenance, it's 30% of 5,200. They didn't ask that. They asked me a maintenance call will be issued when per share price of FTS S is. So what they're asking me is above, above what market value will there be a maintenance call? So what we're going to do there is we're going to say, okay, well, let's figure out market value and maintenance. The way we do that is we take the credit register, which in this case is 7,800. We divide by 1.3. And I find out here that market value at maintenance, 7,800, divided by 1.3 is $6,000. And let's just label that. And let's put that here. That is market value at maintenance. I would definitely know that formula. And the formula at long is debit by 0.75. Short it is. Um, credit by 1.3. And then we just got to be careful. So remember it says a call be which when the per share price. So the answer to the question, it's a hundred shares above 6,000 is a problem. So what we're going to say is we're going to have generate a maintenance call. If the stock goes up more than $2 a share, or another way we could say that uh, either answer would work. They're never going to give you two right answers, but we can say more than $2 per share, or if the short market value, another way to think of it is, or short market value is above $60,000. And that is the answer to the question. Uh, I hope you found that uh, helpful. Uh, remember, inch by inch, yeah, that's not seems to work too well. Let me get that and do that a different way. Boom. Uh, let's do it this way. There's our answer. Uh, more than $2 a share or more than $60 a share or short market values above $60,000. Remember, inch by inch, your Series 7 is a cinch. Yard by yard, your Series 7 is hard. I will put this in the Series uh, 10 and 24 playlist as well because this is uh, testable on that uh, as well. Bye-bye.